Today we're going to be talking about what happens if you can't open an app on your iPhone, what you can do and how you can fix it and get it up and running. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net and here we do iPhone tutorials, fixes, and app discovery. If you're new here, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and show you what would happen if apps freeze and how to get around it and how to fix them multiple ways all the steps you need so you should be able to get back into the app by the end of this video just follow these steps and you'll be good to go first we're going to use proton vpn it's not currently frozen for me but we're going to pretend it is we're going to go ahead and click on it and here it might come up with a white screen or a black screen or it might just not be functioning at all once it opens so first thing you'd want to do is swipe up or hit your home button, depending on which iPhone you have. At that point, we want to double tap on your home button or swipe up and to the right so it shows the apps that are open. So what we want to do is take the app and push it to the sky, push it straight up, and that closes the application. If you've never done this since you've had an iPhone, every single application that you've ever opened is currently running on your iPhone. And you may want to pause the video here and just close out of all of them just to go ahead and keep your phone running smoothly. A lot of times that right there will take care of it. But let's say it doesn't. What we want to do is do the same thing. We want to close it and then we want to swipe up and to the right like that. And now what we're going to do is restart the phone. So uh, we'll hold the power button or on the uh, full screen phones, you hold the top two buttons until it says slide to power off. After that, it'll reboot. And once it comes back up, we're going to go ahead and try it again. And as we tap on it here, we'll pretend that it's still not working after all of this that we've done. We would go ahead and close it the same way we've been. You want to make sure you do this each time because if you don't, it'll stay open and then the fix won't really take. So what we would do next is actually delete the app. You would long press on the app until it starts shaking and has an X. You would hit the X. It'll ask to delete it. You would go ahead and delete it. And then you would go to the app store and just re-download the app so you have it again. At that point, you would go in and see if it works. If not, same thing. You would go ahead and close it the usual way. And once it's closed, I would go into the app store and look up the reviews of the app to see if anybody's having any problems. They could have just had a newer version of the app that's causing issues that are freezing or not working for people. If you have another device, you could also try it on the other device to see if it works on there. That way you can find out if it's an issue with your phone or if it's an issue with the app itself. So we're going to assume that everything's okay with the app and it's not an issue with the version. If it was an issue with the version, you would just wait till the next version comes out and then re-download it or run an update. So we're going to pretend it's an issue with the phone itself. So of course, close out of the app and then we'll go into settings and then we're going to choose general. And here we're going to scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to choose reset. So this is a reset of the phone. So there's going to be three different resets we're going to talk about. They're the first three. I'm going to tell you which ones to do in which order. Reset network settings, the one in the middle, that's the one I suggest to do first. It's the least evasive one. It'll go through and change some of your network settings back. It will forget some of your Wi-Fi passwords, so you'll have to put those back in. But for the most part, it doesn't do too much to the phone, but it does help a lot of the times with connection issues to the app. Once you go ahead and reset this, it'll restart the phone and then you can go ahead and try it again. That's the one I recommend. If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and go to the top one, reset all settings. But keep in mind, this is going to reset a lot of your settings. So you're going to have to set up like the time on your phone, like how long it takes to go to sleep any settings that are on the phone can be changed and put back. 
So it's up to you if you want to go through and try that one. It depends on how important the app is to you. Finally, we have erase all content and settings, and it does exactly what it says. It deletes everything. It's like you just got the phone brand new from Apple. So you want to make sure the app is in dire need before you do something like that. You can also make sure that you are backed up to iCloud before you do this. That will help you out a lot because then if you did erase the whole phone, you can go ahead and just restore everything with iCloud and everything would come back. If you don't know much about iCloud or you want to know more about it in general, I'll go ahead and post the link up top so you can check that out. And it's a great video, really excellent. And I think it's going to go ahead and help explain a lot on iCloud so you understand how it works. So again, just a warning, don't do erase all content and settings unless you are prepared to lose everything you have, unless you have it backed up. So it's very important. I don't want people saying I lost everything. It's very, very important not to do that unless you are prepared with iCloud. <laughs> uh, you can tell it's a very important thing because I said it like three times. So at the bottom here, we have three more resets. Don't worry about those at all. Between all of these, this should go ahead and get your app up and running. If you're also interested in a tips and tricks video, I have a free one on my website. It's helpfultutorials.net. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description and in the comments if you want to check it out. It's a really great video. I think you'll appreciate it. Some nice tips and tricks that will help you learn more about your phone and get rid of some of the annoying things that bother you, like certain spell checks and more and more things. But go ahead and check the video out. It's at the website. And it's completely free. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much for the view.